Well, good morning. This is our mountaintop experience today, and uh, we come up here every uh, worship in the woods on uh, Saturday morning if the weather's good, Sunday if it's if it's uh, that's the day. Uh, and it, it is a, a unity of the of the body that comes together here, and uh, it, it's all under uh, uh, in love and uh, uh, fellowship of Jesus Christ. And uh, that's what really comes through with this ministry. It, the focus, uh, the, the center of attention is Jesus Christ. Um, he's the one who saved us. It's good to give him credit for that because uh, it wasn't a, a, a person or anything other than God himself that came down. And uh, this is what Wayne uh, reminds us, that Christ is in us. You know, Christ in you, you hope of glory. And um, the focus in this ministry is on practicing our priesthood, ministering directly to Jesus Christ and then we're empowered we're plugged in uh, to Jesus and that that's where the power is and that enables us to go out into the world and that and proclaim the excellencies of him who's called us out of darkness into the light and um, and, and that's that's what this ministry has done for me uh, it's brought me into the light you know just like the Sun is uh, warming our bodies here today uh, Christ in us, our hope of glory, warms us every day. And, and just that uh, we can go through a day without knowing that. But to be reminded of that, it's, it's what this ministry does for me. It reminds me of Christ in me, my hope of glory. And, uh, and it's a good thing to, to give him the uh, glory and honor and praise for that. And, uh, and the thanks, because it's all Jesus. It's all by His grace and His grace alone. Uh, thank you for this moment. <laughs> yeah, you know, there, it's so many things that this ministry has, has brought to me, to my life. Um, just understanding that everything around is so irrelevant when you have kind of Jesus only. And when you have Jesus, you do have everything. Everything else comes along with that. It's not the opposite. And with Loving Grace Ministries and, and getting to understand it, even being on this mountaintop here in the morning, first thing in the morning, raise, rising in the morning, praising God, the first thing, starting our day with just the Lord, nothing else, no additives, no preservatives, so to speak, and just having a great time fellowshipping with, with Christians. Uh, Wayne read it today, uh, John 17, the, the Jesus prayer today. Um, Father, make us one as we are one. Today is such an experience of a oneness, uh, um, nature, no microphones, no nothing here, just a matter of Christians becoming one before the Lord, just the way Jesus would be on a mountaintop ministering. And to, to be a part of something like this is, is I, I can't explain it. And I, I thank Love and Grace for having this. Thank you. Praise you, Lord. I'd like to share this. Uh, I was sharing a bit from John chapter 17. I just want to read Jesus' prayer and then everyone can glean and receive whatever word uh, speaks to your heart. I mean, the whole word speaks to our heart. But it's so important to read the whole of Scripture, to not just do a verse study, you know, like I got a verse and I found other verses that are similar to this verse. I mean, that's okay at a certain point, but there's no substitute for reading the whole of the Word and getting a contextual understanding, because picking a verse here and there it just won't ever reveal to you the full will of God. But taking the time to read the Scriptures and to understand each book and to allow yourself to just be with one portion or one book or one letter and, and read it until you can get the main theme of it. Not, not the teaching that somebody else gave you based on a verse, but the main theme of the document itself. What was the writer saying? Because so often all the verses in a letter are part of a greater context. You remove the verse from the context and now it's like it's almost like you could almost make it mean whatever you want it to mean. Yeah, yeah, right. A lot of people. So, so to respect the word of God is to respect the writer, the Holy Spirit, okay, and yeah. the way things are composed. Okay. So that's why I very often like to share lengthy sections, lengthy portions of Scripture on the radio because they're self-evident. Yeah. The teaching is right there. It's not like I need to take a verse and expand upon it as much as read the whole and get the understanding. Amen. 
Amen. Right. So the word is life. Hallelujah. The word Amen. is true. And you find that so many people want to talk about, well, some Christians say this about that, and some Christians believe this about that. And I believe there's a better way to read the Word of God is to forsake that sort of divided thinking. The main purpose is that God desires that we be one with Him. And if we're constantly contending in a divided church, that oneness with God is pretty much the first thing to go out the window. Because we're so aware of everything else. The scripture tells us that the fivefold ministry should equip the saints for the work of service until, you know, we all grow up uh, in all aspects under Christ until we're perfected in that. Amen. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord.